Hello. Now, if you're watching this video, then I suspect you're probably going into year 13 and you're doing physics at A-level. You're also going to be doing A-level maths and potentially even further maths as well. And because you're interested in the physics aptitude test from Oxford University, that means you're going to be aiming for the highest mark, so the high A's and the A stars. Now, in order to help you prepare for this, there are a couple of websites that I found. Now, the first one is unsurprisingly from the physics department at the University of Oxford. And on this website here, um, and I'll put the link uh, beneath this video so you can go straight to it, they've got information about how to apply, they've got some uh, information about what might come up in the actual aptitude test itself, and we've got the PAT syllabus, which is worth having a look at. Um, so there's going to be a mix of stuff from your A-level math syllabus that you'll have covered, as well as things from the A-level physics course that you've covered in Year 12. But actually, there's a couple of extra bits of Year 13 content, so uh, including circular motion, which is something that you might not have seen yet. There's also stuff a bit further down where we're looking at the force between two point charges. So that's due to Coulomb's uh, law of attraction or repulsion. Um, that's a kind of a staple thing that everybody's going to learn about over year 13, but you might not have seen in lessons just yet. And therefore, I would recommend studying your textbooks that you've got. And you can see exactly the kind of things that you need to know about in the syllabus on their website. Uh, and also I've got videos if you're um, wanting another teacher to explain it to you. And it's only uh, £20 access and you can get everything for the rest of year 13. So there's a load of resources um, on the physics department page from Oxford, including some past papers. And I suppose more importantly, they've got some of their sample solutions. And I think that's really, really useful to go through. Um, just be aware that when you do go through the past papers, the format of the actual test has changed over the years, and they've sometimes had longer questions or multiple choice, whatever it might be. Um, I think there's no changes really going into 2021 from how it was in 2020. But recently, I saw a post on Instagram from the physics department at Oxford, and they had some resources which I couldn't find on the physics department page. So this page it's an official Oxford thing from the Department of Physics, but from the Oxford undergraduate section about admissions, there's a separate page about the PAT test. And on this, it has pretty much the same information, but when it says, how do I prepare? So I'll put the link, the direct link to this page beneath the video for you to click on. If you click on how do I prepare, it's got some really, really good advice there. Um, Something I would say is that there's also this Department of Physics YouTube channel and they've got videos where they've got people from the department explaining how to approach problems. And I know that some of those videos haven't been watched by all the people who are going to be doing their assessments. And the date for the assessment in 2021 has changed to the 4th of November. You should know that by now if this is the thing that you're thinking about. Now, the thing that um, is useful, they've got uh, a webinar, so I think this is a video where they talk about the whole PAT test and the procedures and, and how you can prepare for it. They've also got some workbooks. So in the workbook, um, they've basically got 20 pages of questions for you to have a go at. And I think if you haven't done this booklet before you do the PAT test, then you're not going to be in with the best chance of actually passing it and getting the highest grades uh, so you can go in the next stage of your application. So here we go. Uh, we've got um, turning words into maths or setting up physics problems. Um, so that's all here. So you've got question one, two, three, and so on. Pretty standard, some difficult, hard, and tricky, but also really engaging problems. And more importantly, they have some solutions. Now, if you're going to be doing this, it's definitely worth doing it under exam conditions. Don't just look at the answers straight away. Give a lot of thought to your approach to these, these problems. And then you'll see that in the solutions booklet, which is about 50 pages long. They've got um, some hints and solutions um, and loads of detail because it's not just about getting the correct answer. It's about, are you thinking about these problems in a logical manner? Can you set out your working out? Can somebody looking at your work actually work out what you're doing as you're approaching these problems and the way that you're thinking? So I'll put the link to that below. Um, apart from that, um, I'm filming this at the start of September, so you've still got a couple of months to really work on these problems. If you're doing the PAT very soon, that's going to set you up so well for any of your real exams that you have at the end of year 13. Um, and also, 
even if you're not applying for Oxford, you might be thinking about Cambridge or one of the other universities, you can still use these questions to help you improve your physics. There's going to be a lot of competition, there's going to be lots of people with the top grades vying for the same places, and maybe you want to be the person who's had a go at uh, some of these more advanced problems, perhaps using the physics aptitude test past papers, perhaps using things from the British Olympiad or Isaac Physics. There are loads of questions which can really get you thinking, and that's going to hopefully prepare you for any assessments or exams that you have coming up. Don't forget, of course, if you want more support for anything in year 13, I have got my premium plan over at alevelphysicsonline.com. It's only £20. It lasts for the whole year. It's a one-off payment. Um, and if that's the thing that gives you a bit more confidence to help you with any physics whenever you need it, then I, I hope that's something that you'll find useful. School subscriptions are available, and I've got many more resources. If You, uh, you can find them all over on my website including revision notebooks, uh, equation sheets, even Lego figures as well. So yeah, um, good luck if you are doing the PAT test, and uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.